A drum kit is made up of a kick drum, a snare drum, hi-hats, toms and cymbals. In a typical setup we'd place a mic on the kick drum, one or maybe even two on the snare, above and occasionally below if you want to have the buzz of the snares brought into the mix as well. Then one for the hi-hat, then one for each tom and finally a pair for the overhead cymbals as well. Now before we look at the placement Let's see the kind of the usual suspects in terms of mic selection for each drum. On the kick drum, we need to reproduce low frequencies and it's also a pretty loud environment, so a dynamic microphone usually fits the bill with a rare exception. A short list of kick drum mics would then be the Shure Beta 52, Shure Beta 91, AKG D112, Audex D6, and the EV or Electro Voice RE20 or PL20. For the snare drum, some choices are Shure SM57, Shure Beta 56A, Audix i5. For the hi hat, probably the Audix SCX1HC, Neumann KM185, Shure SM81. For the toms, Audex D2, Shure Beta 98A, Shure Beta 56A, or the Timeless Sennheiser 421. And for overheads, probably the Shure SM81, Sennheiser E614, the Audex ADX51. Another great way to go, which is much simpler than going an a la carte route, is to purchase a kit of mics, uh, you know, especially for drums. Uh, kits are available from Samson, uh, Shure and Audix in order of kind of good, better and best. Now that we have our selection of mics all sorted out, we can start positioning these guys. And while, you know, ironclad rules are few and everything is open for experimentation, a general way of miking drums, drums has kind of emerged over the years. Let's start out with kick drums. Most drummers cut out a hole in the front head and place some damping material inside the shell to prevent ringing and give the kick kind of a nice thud to it. Place the kick drum mic inside the shell pointing towards the beta. In terms of snare drums, place your mic right at the edge pointing down at the head at about two inches from the edge. Make sure that the mic is out of the way, you know, enough so that the drummer doesn't accidentally hit it from time to time. You can get away with just a single mic on the top of the snare, but also another one underneath it pointing up at the snare is a great way to capture the snap and buzz of those snares. Listen to just the top, then just the bottom, and now I'll bend between the two. The hi-hat mic should be placed about two or three inches from the hi-hats, angled in a way to prevent spill from other instruments, most notably the snare drum. Toms are mic'd in basically the same way as the snares, uh, pointing down about two inches from the rim. You can move inwards towards the center of the head for a boomier sound. And finally, overheads are placed, well, <laughs> they're placed overhead. And because the ride and the bell of the ride are quieter than the crash cymbal, then I would normally angle the right overhead in a little just to favor that ride. <laughs> 